go the night before. After what happened last night here, I was ready to pack up. I made them look like fools. I can't even believe they allowed me to come back into their house. Communication has completely broken down in the Allison household, so Maureen calls a crisis <laughs> meeting. Initiating a food fight. Yeah, I was trying to try to try and loosen you guys up a little. You guys have a lot of self-respect, and to have somebody do something like that to you, you know, never mind in private, but especially not in public. We're loose in a laid-back way. Yeah. My family would be loose enough to do something like that in the right setting, but a restaurant is nowhere close to the right setting. Yeah. Like, say I was washing dishes at the sink and I sprayed you with the holes. That would have probably gotten some laughs. Yeah, exactly. I was pretty mad at Maureen there for a while. But we were able to talk things through, and uh, I think everybody feels better about things now. I mean, I felt better today. I feel like I'm learning a lot about etiquette. <laughs> Definitely. In an effort to make the Haggerty hooligans accountable for their bad behavior, Lydia is imposing her next rule, an apology letter. I have to hold my hands. Lydia is taking the boys to face their worst fear, the meat man. Remember us from last week? Uh, and yeah, it would be a hard time for getting you three people. We have something to um, give you. Dear Meat Man, we are sorry for poking holes in your meat packages, and next time we promise to be good. Your friends Danny, Jason, and Matt. Wow, that's pretty nice. Took three special kids to do something like that. I'm going to take this and put it in a picture frame, and I will never forget this. That made me feel good, because apologizing is, a, is the right thing to do. After Maureen's apology, Tim has agreed to abide by her rule about Drew's locked door. Hi. I know you're more than ready, right? I'm ready. The yeah. emancipation of Drew. I can't wait to cut the lock off. It's going to be great having a lot more freedom. Now, Drew, as hard as this is, this is how hard I want you to try to resist the temptation yeah. to sneak out. <laughs> Don't listen to what your father's telling you. Just do it. <laughs> Here we go. the trust in him more than anything else and uh, and that means a lot to me I like the freedom and uh, I want to